100 dice. Welcome to this Stateless Codecast. This is the 22nd video in our series NerdDice.com where we build a tabletop management role-playing game management um, application using Ruby on Rails 7. And we have been working on getting our um, device um, user authentication uh, implemented and tested and we've been working through testing all the different uh, scenarios and stuff like that using uh, Rails application system test which um, automate a uh, a browser and actually do the the clicks and navigations on your page to ensure that the fully integrated version of your um, application including JavaScript and um, all that stuff uh, works as intended. And um, as noted throughout this, it, this is important because um, Devise and Rails 7 in their current state um, have some incompatibility issues and you need to kind of patch your use of Devise in order to get it to work with um, with Rails 7 um, and Turbo, kind of the, the, the default Rails 7 um, application generation with Rails new, which uh, we did in a previous video. Uh, so now because of that, we need to make sure that we're not just testing request response, but we're actually testing with a browser that these uh, user vital, vital user interactions work as intended. So uh, we're going to take a look now at canceling a user account. And this is one of the features that is directly impacted by the change from uh, Rails kind of legacy use of turbo links and Rails UJS, unobtrusive JavaScript, into uh, the the Hotwire framework with uh, Turbo and Stimulus. And uh, so we, when we uh, did our uh, video on make, making the device views work with Tailwind and Turbo, we, we covered this particular issue. So we'll go into our app and demonstrate the, um, as we always do, the functionality that we're intending to test here. So this is, we'll start at our root path here. We're gonna click on manage your account. And then in this case, we're going to um, test two things. So one, cancel my account. When I click on this, it should come up with a uh, a confirm on the page rather than just um, kind of I misclick it and I've deleted my account. So um, we click on this. You can see localhost3000 says, are you sure? And then if we hit cancel, then uh, we, uh, we're good. And then if we or yeah, we hit cancel on the, the alert, and then only if we hit OK on the uh, alert would we um, go in and um, delete the user. And you can see that we've got um, an error in our um, in our current implementation of this. So this is a good example of why you want your uh, your browser. Um, Let's see if our user's gone. Can view missing template registrations destroy turbo. So yeah, this is something we need to fix with turbo. So this is um, a good example of this um, That we need to fix. So we'll, we'll write our test. So we will make this its own test case, even though it's uh, which means we need to move this method to move this method into our application system test case so that it can be accessed from both our old and new um,
methods here. So, or well then, yeah, both test case. So we'll run our old previous one, make sure we didn't break it. Now we'll create our new file, we'll call it cancel user registration test. I'll pause and modify this. All right, so the uh, things we've got so far, uh, we've got our documentation comment, we've renamed the class to cancel user registration test, um, and then we've got our user, we log in with our user, and then we've got two scenarios here, user can successfully cancel registration, and user registration does not get canceled if the user hits cancel. And then similar to the, um, um, change email password test. We've got the um, standard registrations edit. We're just not filling in the form here. So that being said, we'll try to implement this test, which as we've seen in the, um, the browser demonstration of it will fail and we'll have to fix it, but we'll, um, or, yeah, later, I think it'll error out more than it will fail, but I'll pause and implement the first pass of this. All right, so I've got the initial version of this occurring. So we've got the standard canceled user preconditions we're doing here. And then uh, we want to assert the um, difference in user count because uh, we're destroying this user. Uh, and um, this is a block here, so it's going to expect the count of users to decrease by one. Uh, and then this page dot accept confirm here is um, the block that we use to accept the fact that the there should be a confirmation that occurs when we click on this. Uh, and then um, we should see the um, the flash me flash message flash message here. Uh, which you can find in um, config locales and then devise.en.yaml. Uh, so this is uh, registrations destroyed uh, that we should expect to see here. And then we will, since this is failing when we run it with the browser, I expect this test to fail. Uh, but that's what I would expect to have happen if uh, this were working as intended. So click save on this and then I'll try to run this test. Let's see what happens. So undefined method users URL in device registrations controller. Because we hit the error there. So turbo device controller uh, rescue in turbo stream and then to turbo stream. And it's looking for a users URL, which we don't have defined. So this is the device turbo controller that we created in the previous video and it's not handling the user destroy um, here. So it's getting to the point here And it's 
specifically the line 24 and line 14 here. So redirect to navigation location. The navigation location is is coming up as incorrect here. So it would be if this might not be the best way to do it. I'll, I'll try an implementation of this the Look at the initializer as well. All right, so I'll try to throw in a, a fix for this and um, we will go from there. All right, so I've been playing around with uh, this exception here. So I, I clicked on it and um, it got to um, missing template for registrations destroy for turbo and it's um, making it to this uh, redirect to navigation location here on line 24. So I did um, at controller name, controller name is registrations and then the controller action or what's the action name is destroy. So we want to intercept that ideally and redirect to the root URL, which I'm attempting to do here. So I added an else if statement controller name is registrations and action name is destroy to redirect to the root URL instead of the navigation location. So we will try rerunning this test and see if it works. I'll also try it in the browser. All right. So action name not exist here. Did I mean at action? All right, so let's throw in a debugger statement here. see what we have available. At action equals nil. As errors equals false. And we're looking for we have a default action. Default action is new, which is not going to, to deal with that line 23 anyway. And then I might need to use at controller dot controller name and at controller dot action name. Sessions. Hmm. Oh, because, well, maybe we didn't.
sessions create. Oh, it might be. Maybe we can continue here. It's hitting it in other places. Um, sessions let's well, just instead of see what this does when we just hit puts here. Okay. I made it to that point. Sessions create. It's still, it, I'm causing failure now in like before we even get to that point. So we'll just. Try that. Let's see. So undefined method, controller name. Let's go back here. not existing. All right, keep trying. Try that fine line. We do have controller path available.
see. We have that available to us. All right, we got to a name. Without saying, did you mean? anything from this. Controller, device, sessions, controller. That works for us. Undefined method controller name for sessions controller. dot methods. That's a lot of methods. All right, we'll take a look at this real quick. All right, you're going to laugh at me. I just found the problem. Uh, there's a joke about this, like the robot that um, if this equals, uh, like equality operator, um, destroy all humans, and that that's going to happen because somebody forgot to use, use the assignment operator in place of the um, equality operator. And that's what I did here. So let me get rid of debugger here. And I should be able to just, well, we'll let it get to that point. Let's see what happens. Okay, so. You made it to re redirect to root URL. We just, okay, so that's getting us there. We just need to, uh, okay, so that's new and just do redirect a slash. Okay. Didn't change by negative one. But it didn't error out, so that's Let's see what happens when we do this in the browser. Okay. Now 
just do. Let's see here. How do I programmatically represent that from a situation here? Wait a minute. Yes, let's see what the, the current behavior of this is. I need to um. Okay, so we've got our user. We've signed in. We Okay, that seems to have worked in our real life situation there with slash. We just didn't, I guess let's see what happens to those users in the console. That might just be the only thing that I mischaracterized here. just be like we had before where this was taking too long to to register so we'll do do it like this would be this count minus one user dot count expected increase by one. So let's see if that gets us to passing here. Yay, we've got a successful test. So might not be the prettiest thing in the world, but we have it working. We've got our uh, controller. behaving appropriately. Let's make sure it didn't break anything else. So we'll run the full suite here. Got all successful except for our skip test right now. So so we found a a fix that even the um, the resources we relied on that in that um, device. Um, Um, 
article getting it working with Turbo and the Go Rails thing uh, didn't account for, which was destroying your account. Uh, let's now we want to implement the the method that makes sure that uh, the user doesn't accidentally get canceled when they uh, when they get destroyed when they click on um, when they reject the confirm so I'll pause and implement that all right so we've got our user yeah, user registration um, does not get canceled if the user um, user dismisses confirmation. Um, so standard preconditions, we keep track of the user count. Uh, in this case, we do page dismiss confirm instead of accept confirm. And then we should still be on the um, registrations edit page and the user's count should not have changed. So let's run just this class and see if that solves our issues, we have succeeded. Rerun the full suite here. Probably should have done Rubicop first so that I could work on that while these tests are running in the background. But we'll just let this continue. I'll throw in a commercial here while this is happening. Be um, no, we're we're good. Okay, no commercials. All right. So now see what Rubocop thinks of our hijinks. All right. Uh, face around. Branch condition size is too high. So we'll do the uh, the autocorrect here to get the the one taken care of, and then we can look at our Our one issue there, assignment branch condition is now too high in our turbo device controller. Uh, we'll have Process there, we'll call it recover from device missing template, we'll make it a private method. See if that gets us out of trouble with the authorities. It does. And let's make sure we didn't break the world. I'll just pause and do this. Um, assuming that it works correctly, I'll also um, write my add the, well, let's take a look at this before. So get status. 
we have added our new cancel user straight registration test and then the things we've changed are um, changing this to use the recover from device missing template um, and then we uh, went and uh, moved the registrations edit assertions out of the um, uh, change email password test and into the application system test case so that uh, we can reference it in uh, two different controller test classes uh, and then we added our test class there so assuming all the tests pass when I pause this I will uh, also c add and commit this and we'll take a look at the commit message and go from there all right so it turns out I did break the world um, so I need to put this in the responder class and not in the turbo devised controller class so let's move this back out and def to turbo screen stream rescue end and then this is our private method here make sure rubocop is still not angry with us Correctable. All right, so we're good there. Oh, let me make sure we're actually good there. Sometimes the correction will create a new offense. It did not. So now I'm just going to at least run it with a shorter. just this class that has the two assertions it should if it passes here it should pass everywhere else so I will now do git add so uh, as I said before if I successfully uh, run the tests and everything I'll get to the point where I've got the commit message up and then we'll go from there all right so I've got my commit message here I will save it close git push while it's pushing here i should probably refer to this in Combo device uh, integration guide here. I'll just pause and write this. All right, I've got my comment ready for the um, integration guide section here on device. 
And then I'll go back, look at my action, which has succeeded. Go back to the code. Everything looking good there. Go into project, mark this subtask complete. And then update our issue. Here, 11 out of 15. So we have left user can update email, user can reconfirm email. Um, and um, error handling, I think, um, I probably need to just, um, well, I think we've been working on that all along and then uh, user locking and unlocking. So we've essentially got three features left to test. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching this stateless codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding, and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.